undergrad, our mission is to help high-achieving LGBT undergrads reach their full potential in their lives and their careers. And you're here today because we believe that each of you has an enormous, incredible amount of potential. This is a no-holds-barred opportunity to learn anything you want about life and work in the tech sector. Um, I first heard about Out for Undergrad and UTC uh, four years ago at uh, an OSTEM meeting uh, at, uh, out in Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math at uh, my university. Uh, somebody who had been to it before recommended it, they pitched it, and I applied, and it's a really great decision. Yeah, so I heard about it from a couple of friends at my school who had gone previously and they kind of told me about their experience and I thought that is definitely something I want to try because it was like this intersection between two of my identities I didn't know they had opportunities for. I heard about Out for Undergrad from other students at Harvard who told me about their experiences and uh, when I came out they told me that this is you know one of the first things I should sign up for. So I'm just going to take a few quick seconds to introduce Dr. Ming, our keynote for Saturday. Um, I'm just very excited to uh, have her here. She is an accomplished uh, theoretical neuroscientist. She's an accomplished entrepreneur and an accomplished technologist, everything. Uh, I'm floored by the incredible both width and depth of her knowledge. I used a model of predictive coding uh, to actually, the only goal was to create something so that his insulin pump, the parameters, would just automatically in real time set and update. Uh, and then it would give optimal dosing to keep his blood glucose levels flat and in range all the time. It, it, you know, it took me a couple of months to develop the model. Uh, and what they'd say is things that can't be done. Well, there you go. We did it. So as a firm, we um, also attend OUBC, um, and so through the discussions with OU, OU4U, um, we discovered a technology conference, we did our research, um, it looked very applicable to the things we're working on, um, and so we reached out to OU4U and ended up coming this year. Well, I worked on a college recruiting team, and uh, there was actually a former recruiter that did some research on LGBT tech conferences, and decided that this was a great investment, so we've kind of increased our sponsorship over time, and increased our presence here year over year. Um, I love the energy. I think it's great to have people who come from from a tech background, identify or at least are uh, you know connected to the LGBT community. I think it's great for them to see leaders and mentors, people who currently work in the tech industry that know what it's like to have grown up and felt different and at various points decided to come out or express themselves um, based on their orientation or identity and also thrive in the tech workspace. Um, so I really enjoy to get people together to see which companies are willing to invest in a conference like this. possibility models. So there, there are people out there who are doing what I want to do and they're also being who I am. And it just gives you a lot of hope that like you don't have to sacrifice either your passions or your identity. It's really inspiring, honestly. <laughs> All right, the winner! KPI! Let's give it up for everyone one more time. So if I had to describe my experience this weekend in three adjectives, um, I would say amazing. Inspiring. Mind-opening. Invigorating.